one of the most illest vocalists in the R&B genre. Summer Walker once again finds herself in a whole bunch of unnecessary BS and drama. Let's get into it. What's up you guys? Welcome to Josiah's World TV. I wanted to come on here today to do a, a full breakdown of what actually is going on between London on the track and Summer Walker. Now yesterday, Twitter was exploding because Summer Walker once again has found herself in hot water or better yet, London on the track, you know, and the baby mamas of course, Erica and Ebony. Once again, the whole family is fighting. How many times do Jay-Z have to tell y'all, okay? Nobody wins once the family feuds. Before we get into the breakdown, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can catch more daily content because I am coming with the fight. So Summer Walker is once again trending online and generating many headlines due to her drama interactions following her on and off boo, London Holmes, as better known as London on the track. So yesterday she trended on Twitter after a series of posts all on Instagram, okay? Venting about her former couple relationship and her current misadventures and co-parenting in a newborn baby. Now these text posts are from her private account, okay? Glotcha whore. <laughs> and her damn near eight minute video that she went on on her main account, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. So Summer Walker chose violence yesterday morning by saying this, okay? London calling and DMing everyone around me because he's blocked. Talking about if you care about Summer, get that away from her. So if anything happens to me, it was him. Ghetto baby daddy from hell. I be minding my business and I never call him unless it's about the well-being of my child. SMH, crazy ML. <clears throat> that dude has been raising your child since two months and wouldn't help me. You need to stop threatening people and tell him thank you. Freaking weirdo. She continues to say, I be trying so hard to mind my business. Niggas depressed. <laughs> and she said, come get this car. I don't want nothing from you. This shit isn't even paid for. I like my cars paid off. So Summer Walker went the hell off, okay? As she always does. You know, Summer Walker's always on her Instagram stories talking about something. So then, London on the track called Summer a liar, okay? Saying that, hey, guess what? I am not calling you or DMing you. So worry about your mental health, basically. And I'll go ahead and read what he said about that. So what London on the track said was, Shit be so goofy. Shit ain't even funny at this point. I'm really trying to spare Shardy because I understand her mental health ain't where it needs to be. But the lying shit gotta stop. Calling, DMing, who, for what, post the current receipts. Shit accurate, don't lie. Plus, my new woman ain't going for no ish like this. That shit about the truck, cute though. I'ma have somebody come get that shit tomorrow. Put the jury in the armrest. I don't want you to have nothing you don't want. I ain't gonna keep playing with you on this internet. You still making payments on your ass and titties talking about a car SMH. When me and you both know I can buy five Teslas. Woo, child. Okay. So that was pretty much London on the track response to what he had to say regarding Summer Walker. Now, Summer Walker responded and she said, uh, uh, uh. She was not here for the BS, okay? So this is what Summer Walker had to say. And she also, in this rant, went off on um, the baby mamas as well. So this is what Summer had to say. London, you're a pathological liar, narcissist, and gaslighting. Everyone knows it. This could all be so simple. Stop sending threats to people around me. Stop worrying about what we got going on over here. Just take care of your baby. That's it. I'm happy. Move on. I was literally minding my business. You know I don't call you or bother you unless it's for my child. Ebony, you need meds. You was just crying about him not being ish for two years, and he tried to blame it on me when I was the main one always encouraging him to be with his children. But now I gave him back and you're still mad. It's giving obsessive. That dude obviously ain't hitting on shit because he's still bothering me. You just want to hate me so bad. I made him bring... I made him bring you to me so I could meet you and try to figure out your issue with me. And you still wanted to fight for no reason. Anyway, I'm bringing this car back. Since y'all so buddy buddy now, maybe hell, just give the car to you and continue to pay on it since we both in Atlanta already. 
that maybe make your day a little better. Now, on top of that, Summer Walker decided to post on her IGTV, um, on her actual Summer Walker page. And she was not here for it. She let them girls, she let the baby mama, and she let London have it, okay? She said, leave me alone. Take a look at this video, and I will be back with the remainder of the story. It's too early. I'm brushing my teeth. It's way too early. Oh my god. I have to get on live because I don't have any of your numbers. And I don't want any of your numbers. And none of y'all have my numbers. Because my shit has changed. I don't bother y'all. I am so unpro unproblematic. Listen. Public service announcement. Erica. Ebony. London, they don't bother me. Leave me alone. Y'all was fucking terrorizing me for two years, bro. Because I was with the nigga. I gave him back. I gave him back. For the same, I gave him back. For the same reasons y'all were fucking terrorizing me for two years. Oh, let me need shit. Oh, let me, uh, eh, uh, uh, bitch, uh. I tried as best as I could to keep him involved with his children's lives. And y'all tried to blame me for it. I have nothing to do with it. But now that I gave him back, why are y'all still fucking with me? Leave me alone, bro. I don't know what y'all think this is, but we're not doing this for the next 18 years, bro. We're not doing this for the next 18 years. I try to be cool with all y'all. I try to be the big happy family shit. Try to, you know, have everybody come over for Christmas. Everybody come over for Thanksgiving. I try to do all that shit. Y'all didn't want to fuck with me. Ebony, you told me I tried to meet you. I, you wouldn't meet me. You just wanted to talk shit for two years. I had him. I said, tell. I told Lena. I said, bring her here. I want to talk to her. Brought you here. Didn't even tell you. He didn't even tell you I was there. He was mad. And we talk, I'm like, shorty, I have no problem with you. I want to be good. Let's, you know, our kids, they can grow up together. I can't wait till she, parents come over to the playroom, blah, blah, blah. Nah, bitch, nah, bitch, because you was fucking my baby daddy. You still wanted to fight. I don't want to fight any of you hoes. I don't get anything from this. Y'all do. Y'all cloud chasers. I get, I look crazy right now. I get absolutely nothing for it from this. I was supposed to have my child, be married, like the nigga said he would do, and carry on with my career silently. But no, I have to keep dealing with you hoes. Leave me alone, bro. I don't want to talk to you. Keep me out your mouth. We have nothing to discuss. You told me to leave you alone. You don't want to be on that family shit. So cool, bro. I have no problem with y'all, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I'm going to say it one more time. Leave me alone. Me alone. Leave me alone. And as for London, bro, leave me alone too, bro. Leave me alone, bro. It is so funny that I went on a date. I went on a date with 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 uh, the stepfather of your child because you wouldn't okay, all right? I went on a date and the next day I get all these threats and shit. Leave me alone. You didn't want to do what you had to do. You didn't want to step up. So now leave me alone. All of you. I'm not fucking with none of y'all. We're not doing this for the next 18 years. I'll say it one more time. So if I see anything else on the shade room, if I get any more calls, if I get any more threats, if I get anything else from any of you people, it's just pure obsession, bro. I don't know how many times. I leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, bro. I'm giving a car back. I'm giving a car back today. Maybe he'll give it to one of you hoes. I don't care. I don't want nothing to do with this man. I'll give you hoes the jury. I'll give you hoes everything. Just just leave me alone, bro. You got the nigga back. There's no reason to even be talking about me. I'm not bitter, love. He bothers me. I was fine. I don't call that man. I don't call y'all. Why are we here right now? I do not get it. It's 
fucking weird, bro. It's obsessive. Stop the clout chasing. Let him move on. Go get you, please. Ooh. Calling all hoes. Calling all hoes. One of y'all put that good thing on. Put that good thing. Put some, put somebody, please put that. <laughs> put that on him. Put it on him so he'll leave me alone, okay? I'm good. I got the course. I got the grace. My my career doing good. Uh, my good. My baby is healthy and beautiful. My man is doing everything I need him to do. Plus more. Don't even got to ask. I'm good. Y'all mad. Why are you mad? I can't argue with you. Not for real. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I can't do this shit no more. For what? Y'all, I try to be happy with everybody. Don't nobody be, don't nobody want to be happy. Don't nobody want to do Christmases and Thanksgivings and everything's together. Come all over to the house, have all the kids together. Be nice and happy and respectful. Don't nobody want to do that. So leave me alone. This is it. This is it. This is it. What's today? After today, there should be no more shade room. There should be no more threats to my phone. There should be no more slander. I don't give a fuck about none of you hoes or you, nigga. Leave me alone. Album coming out. It's going to go up. And then we're going to carry on. And it's going to be in the past. It's going to be in the past. Leave me alone, bro. I can't. I, if I could speak different languages, I would say it. Leave me alone. Go get it. Go get Go Go find somebody else to get some clout off of. Y'all need to, y'all hoes need to go get a job. If y'all hoes were smart, you would have been nice to me because I like to throw ones in the club. But you stupid. So anyway, no more drama. Unproblematic. No more issues. No more cussing, fights, shade room, uh, neighborhood talk, gossip of the city. None of that shit. Let's all just be mature and raise our children, okay? Raise your kids. I raise my baby. We ain't got no beef. No beef. Anybody see anything else past this? It's on them. No beef. I will not be, I will not be responding to anybody after today. I have addressed it for the final time. I am now going to live my life unproblematic for the rest of my shit. No more. Huh? Anybody else who fuck with that nigga, I'm not gonna bother you, love. I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do you how them hoes did me. I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not gonna bother you. Please put that hey on him, okay? Put that please so he can leave me alone. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna go on now and tend to my child and have a great, wonderful day. And I hope that y'all have a wonderful day as well. And I hope that y'all what? Leave me the fuck alone. All right. Okay, so this was all going on, y'all, yesterday, okay? And now the baby mamas was going in. Like, Ebony was denying that she was even involved in with London on the track sexually. And, you know, basically saying that he was shaming this new girl well, whatever. Erica also responds to Summer and saying that she used drugs. And I'm not about to sit here and read all this. I'm going to go ahead and play the clips by clips so y'all can go ahead and just see. Pause if you need to because this is definitely a lot. Check it out.
Now, y'all already know, okay, Twitter has some stuff to say about the whole situation. So one tweet said, London on the track got some bitter ass baby mamas. How the fuck y'all still mad at he was messing with Summer Walker saying that he don't take care of his baby. Now they not together. All of a sudden, he wasn't no dead. Another tweet said, me watching Summer Walker stories knowing that this album about to be fire. Yes, I definitely agree with the tweets. This album is definitely about to be fire. Now, I know some people were saying that this is a hoax, but I don't think it is. Summer Walker is actually pissed off. I do not agree with a lot of things that Summer Walker says because I feel like what she says is some bullshit because you already knew how this whole situation was, okay? He was already going back with his baby mama and you decided to go ahead and still be with him and to have a child by him okay this dude was community dick if i'm being honest he was london on the track stays getting sued okay for not paying child support the baby mama stay on his ass going back and forth with him and you know what i if i'm being very honest with you it sucks that we're in a social media age because there everybody's always like to air their own dirty laundry out but this is not a good look for Summer Walker because it kind of gives me um, the new age version of Mary J. Blige a little bit. Now, Mary J. Blige did not end up getting kids or anything, but she did deal with a lot of drama and also like personal stuff. And I feel like that's what Summer Walker is going through because some, Summer Walker honestly does not have any self-esteem to me. Um, and the same for Mary J. Blige during her My Life era. You know, she didn't really have the best self-esteem. So it reminds me of Mary J. Blige and Summer Walker, get your ass off the internet, okay? Summer Walker continues to contradict herself all the time once she is online, okay? She say one thing and then do the other. She always have an opinion, but can't even get her own personal life together. Like, girl, just shut up. The baby mamas, y'all just some bitter ass women. I'm sorry, y'all really are. London on the track, keep your dick in your pants, okay? And be faithful to one girl. Dudes ain't ish nowadays now we all know that he's a very popular on and off producer beautiful music like aretha franklin said beautiful gals but boy keep your dick in your pants okay but guys let me know this whole situation on this whole breakdown with summer walker the baby mamas london on the track okay i know it was a lot i know this is going to be a long ass video but i would really love to know your thoughts and opinions on the whole situation okay all right well i'll see y'all later deuces Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josiah as well TV. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos. Bye bye.